Hello, I'm Cody, and thank you for joining us again at Lower Range Off-Road for another how-to video. Everything up here is what's in the kit. You have your backbone, the arms that go on each side, and then the skid plate, and then supplied hardware. And to install this kit, you will need some blue Loctite, a torque wrench, a 17 and a 14, and 12. The 17 and the 14 could be a socket or a wrench, doesn't matter. And now the first step is to attach the backbone to the transfer case itself. And we are then going to remove the original hardware, all but two bolts. This guy right here, and then this guy down here at the very bottom. So we're now going to move and remove those bolts. They should be a 12. The original nuts or bolts should be a 12. Okay, now that all the original hardware is removed from the transfer case, we will now attach the backbone to the transfer case itself. And our logo goes on the bottom just like that. Okay, and the kit includes three long bolts that are longer than, it, than the rest. One of them goes right over here by the input next to the tab. And when you go to install the bolts onto the backbone, you just want them finger tight. It helps with the installation later. And then the next one goes over right over here by the logo. And then the last long bolt will go in this hole, but we're going to hold off because it also holds on the arm. So we're now going to move to the short bolts. And then they just go on all the other holes. And once again, you just want these finger tight. Okay. I have installed all the bolts but these two. We are now going to take the arm that has this tab on it and it slides in between the backbone and the transfer case and then you can now install the short bolt goes on top close by the tab and then the long bolt will go just on the other side And then you can install the four transfer case mount bolts. And once again, you don't want to tighten these all the way tight. You just want to make them finger tight for now. Okay, that is everything you have to do with attaching this arm to the transfer case and the backbone. So we are now going to move to the other side. And attach the other side, the other arm. And as you can see, it's got two holes next to the transfer case mounts. And these two holes line up with these two holes on the backbone. And you go ahead, put in the transfer case mount bolts. And 
And the one that I am putting in right now helps if you take it down to where it's tight but not horribly tight for the installation of the bottom bolt. Then we will take the 10 millimeter with the nylock nut and the flat washer and we're going to thread the bolt through. And then the washer and then the nut. And then once again for this arm we're not going to tighten anything tight yet. And then slide the other bolt through. Okay, so this is everything you do. Of course the bolts aren't tight yet. This is everything you'll do. This is what it should look like before you install it in the vehicle. So at this point, we are now going to take the bolts, one bolt at a time, from the backbone and put Loctite on it and then torque it to the specs. So we'll put a little bit of Loctite on there. And you go ahead and slide it in. And then after that one, you just work your way around the backbone and put Loctite on all of them. And then we're going to torque them down. I'm going to show you how to torque just that one. And then we'll go to Loctiting the rest of them. Okay, so that one is good to go. So we are now going to Loctite the rest of them on the backbone first, torque them down, and then we're going to go to that point. We just got finished tightening and torquing and plying the blue Loctite to the bolts in the backbone. Okay, from there we are going to torque and tighten these two bolts that connect the backbone to this arm. Okay, after those two bolts are tightened, you can now move on to, these, on to the transfer case mounts themselves. Now that all the bolts are tightened on this arm, we're now going to rotate and go to this other arm. And now we're going to tighten these bolts down. So go ahead and get them cinched down. As you can see, you won't be able to tighten these two with a torque wrench. So we're just going to zip them down with a wrench. Now since we can get a socket on these two, we are going to go ahead and torque them at this time. Mm. 
Okay, now that that is done, all the bolts on our extreme duty Samurai Transfer Case Cradle should be tight. As it sits right here, this is how it goes into the vehicle from this point. One thing to mention is we have included an OEM transfer case mount that'll sit right here. And then something else that to mention but does not go on at this time is the skid plate that goes across the bottom. We're going to show you how to put that on real fast, but it does not go on at this time. You will install it once the, once the transfer case is in the vehicle, bolted, and full of fluid. It's pretty simple. Just line up those two holes there, the one down there on the bottom. Use the supplied hardware. and then torque it to spec. But since we don't have it installed in the vehicle, we're not going to torque it at this time. And this one, this is what it will look like when it is installed in the vehicle. And that's what, how it will sit. And if you have any other questions, the torque specs, or you want photos, or just to read along with the video, you can refer to our website and look at the instructions there as well.